Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna be making a Southern uh, favorite, biscuits and sausage gravy. So stay tuned. Okay, we're gonna start out with a chilled bowl. What that means is I got ice in here and I put my metal bowl on top of it. So everything I mix in there will stay chilled because I want the butter to stay cold. I want the flour, every, the mixture to stay cold. So that's what I did. That's a chilled bowl, four cups of all purpose flour. A third cup of uh, brown sugar, and we're gonna add a little bit of salt. A third tablespoon, and then we're gonna whisk it and mix it all together. Get all your dry ingredients mixed first, and then you could uh, put the wet in. I need some buttermilk, and uh, let me go to the refrigerator and get. It. Okay. Good old buttermilk. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with two thirds of a cup of buttermilk. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna make it a little well in here. We'll put that in there. Just like that. Put it right in the middle. And then I'm gonna mix it with this. I think I'm gonna go over a little bit more and I'm gonna take it out for now. I'm gonna put a half cup more of uh, buttermilk in there because it's a little bit dry and that should do it. Okay, now we add our Crisco, butter flavored Crisco because it needs a little fat. Get all that out of there. And the next part is why we keep the bowl cold for the butter. For the, the reason why we do that is uh, the butter is gonna stay cold and then when it cooks, it the butter's gonna melt in, in little spots that it, that's there and it's gonna taste real good. Unsalted butter, one stick. Okay, got our grater. And then we grate frozen butter into the mix. And this is why it's got a chilled bowl. Watch your fingers, that thing is sharp. Okay, we grated that stick of butter and now we're gonna mix. Because, uh, Biscuits like cold, uh, like to be cold uh, when you mix it, cause if it melts, it gets all gooey. This way it stays just right. I'm gonna take it off for a second. And then I'll put it back in. Okay, I mixed all this up and it's staying chilled in there. I don't know if you can see, but the butter is not melting because it's in a cold bowl. And that's exactly what we want. So I'm gonna put this right here. Then we're done with this bowl. I'm gonna put some flour first. It might help. Just like that. Make sure you counter. Then just roll it out. Not too thin, not too thick. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it over so we have layers. A little flour, we got a little sticking going on. Roll it over uh, about three, four times maybe, just like this. And that way you get layers. Can you see the butter is still frozen? See it right there, right there, right there? And that's what we want. Okay, now, 
cookie cutter. Make sure it's dusted and start cutting. Don't turn, just go straight down and you put your biscuits there and put a little dent in them so that way they rise. I'm not gonna throw away this dough, I'm gonna re-roll it and uh, we're gonna make more biscuits out of it. They're not gonna come out just like the other ones, but they're still good. Re-roll this, this is still good. Cut out some more. I'm gonna jam this one right here. Try to get all I can in there. Perfect. Okay, now we take a little buttermilk and let's put dents in all of them. And give me a little brush, not a lot. And we got our cookie sheet on uh, parchment paper there. Okay, we got our oven at 450, it's preheated, and we're gonna pop it in. I'm gonna let them go uh, 10 to 12 minutes, and let them get golden brown, and then we'll take them out. Okay, we're at the stove, I got this pot getting hot. Uh, I got some bacon grease, and I'm gonna put a little bacon grease just to get things going, not a lot, to seal it. Bacon grease is good for men. I don't know what it does, but it's just good. And we're gonna throw in our sausage. What kind of sausage? This is Jimmy Dean regular. Uh, you could use the spicy, but I'd rather not. You just don't let that cook. Let that fry up. Try to cut it as best you can. And that little bit of grease, we need it. Because we're gonna make a roux with that. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're gonna brush them with a little bit of uh, margarine or butter or whatever tickles your fancy. But we're using butter today. Give them that nice shiny look. tablespoons of butter to that give it that nice rich taste just like that put that away now I'm gonna get ready to make our roux okay I'm gonna add this flour in here all purpose just judge it see what where it's at okay. well, I'm just gonna add all of it there was probably half a cup in there now I'm going to add our milk, evaporator milk, I'm sorry. I'm going to add a whole can, which is 12 ounces. I got a little buttermilk left over from the biscuits. I'm going to dump that in there too, because I don't like the waste. Something like country gravy, but this got sausage in it. I'm going to add a little water. Salt and pepper. This feels good. I'm gonna let that cook and then I'll, get, I'll taste it and I'll add more. I'll adjust. For these more, I'll add more. Okay, now we're gonna fry up some sausage. 
our pot, our frying pan is a little bit hot. It's got a little bit of oil in there. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna fry it slow. I don't want it to, to get burned because sausage burns really easy because it's got a lot of spice in it. So I'm gonna fry it real slow and I'm gonna cook it through and through so that way it looks better and tastes better in a plate. I'm trying not to burn the sausage. You know what I'm talking about. When it gets black, I don't hate that. So we're just gonna cook it slow. You know what? I'm gonna put the lid on it for a while. Just like that. Okay, we're gonna make some scrambled eggs. I'm using butter flavored Crisco. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I'm going to scramble it. I'm going to make them soft scrambled, so we'll see what I'm talking about. Stay tuned. Okay, finished product, biscuits and gravy, buttermilk biscuits and gravy, scrambled egg, sausage with gravy on top, and I'm going to give it a sample. Biscuits look good, flaky. Bomb. Very, very good. Very good. Don't need no seasoning. It's it's good just right out of the pot. Put a little Tabasco if you want, but I don't think so. My wife made this salsa. We call it cha-cha sauce, or cha-cha salsa. It's uh, avocado, green onions, cilantro, and tomatoes and onion. Very good. You could use it as a salad, or a side dish, whatever. Very good. My wife loved it herself. Very good. Wow. It was really good. Number one, man. Uh, don't need nothing. no seasoning, don't need no. nothing. It's just good this way it is. It has a bomb taste. Really good. Old fashioned country. Mom. Really good. Mm. The biscuits got a light, fluffy taste. Buttery. And the gravy is unbelievable. Don't all, need no seasonings. All from scratch, and stuff. It tastes amazing. It's got perfect spices. It tastes like old country cooking. Amazing.